Wow. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to review this DC to DC buck converter. Here you can see it says DC to DC converter input 36 to 48 volts and an output of you see 12 volts and 25 amperes. Let's open it up. Wow, it's really nice looking and the, uh, the heat sink is very nice and the socket is completely sealed within this black portion you can see two wires are thick these are obviously for the high current output and two thin wires are for the high voltage and uh, low current input now guys here what you see is a 32 volts dc and 5.6 amperes output dc supply from a printer an old printer now, now the output is 32 volts although the converter input voltage says a minimum of 36 to 48 volts so guys here you see that the output voltage is flashing 31.1 volts not even 32 volts left one is positive right one is negative red is positive and black is negative input side let's connect it you'll see a little spark yeah circuit is on multimeter pointing towards 20 volts dc mode measuring the output voltage you see 11.94 volts almost 12 volts output from the converter so guys what we can note from this is although it's stated 36 to 48 and the minimum input is around 30 volts dc now comes test for no load current loss So guys very less no load current loss only 0.01 or 0.02 amps which is almost nothing so this circuit is very very efficient even though i am not connecting required input at which it works best 12 volts 55 watts bulb car headlamp very nice 24 volts 250 watts bulb a reflector super high current oh yeah it's very hot So guys I had to place a jumper cable because this terminal of the battery caught fire in my previous project and melted completely. So guys this is the multimeter and pointing it towards 200 volts DC mode because the voltage is going to be somewhere around 48 to 50. Blue for positive, black for negative, sorry yellow for black means negative. As can be seen, battery is showing 48.9 volts. Okay. Okay, so guys, now comes the time in which I am going to connect uh, this buck converter to this battery pack and then test a few DC motors. So 
so guys the converter has been connected to the battery now it's time to measure the voltage it's producing pointing it towards 20 volts dc mode since the output is somewhere around 12 volts So guys as you can see that the output from this converter is too accurate for 12 volts exactly 12 volts cool right 11.99 12 volts very nice so guys this is a 12 volts 8 amperes dc motor permanent magnet dc motor from a car wiper set so first i'm going to test this 12 volts dc motor with this buck converter one terminal has been connected now comes the other one okay yeah you can see how stably it was running very smooth you see Okay so guys now comes a little bigger motor from an e-bike which I made a few months back. Okay. You see guys it is running pretty good. Cool right? So guys now comes this motor 12 volts made in India and NIREC okay a very thick wire and very high current terminals now the terminals are pretty difficult to reach so I'm going to cut off this plastic Now guys this what you see is a 12 volts high speed air blower. I have placed a DC motor instead of the usual motor and modified it in one of my previous videos so I am also going to run it with this buck converter. Now guys this is a 35 amperes motor used in the engine cool down system the car fan motor so you can see how thick the terminals are given for running this so you might have seen it let's try this with this supply so yeah guys as you can see that the first terminal has been connected now comes the other one it's going to spark a lot <laughs> you can see it is drawing very high current yeah i think the bearing is not lubricated well that's why it is creating so much noise but still it is working all i have to do is re-oil it and guys now comes the final motor this is uh, the bike starter motor which you already have seen in many of my previous videos so it takes at the start somewhere around 100 amps and then stabilizes to around 10 to 15 amps so i'm going to run this Okay, one terminal has been connected. Okay. Yeah, it is working. Yeah, it is working pretty good, guys. Wow. Yeah, very nice. So this proves that this converter is actually producing very high current enough to start a bike starter motor guys. So guys link to this buck converter will be provided in the description so don't forget to check it out.